Namaste Angels. This is the Capricorn bi-weekly reading for the period of tomorrow, December 16th through December 29th, two Sundays from now. I'm having to re-record your reading and most of the cards are different. I'm pretty sure this card it remains the same and this card remains the same. Uh, so I'm not really sure if the, the universe just wanted to change your energy somewhat. Um, because I did record the reading two days ago. So maybe something changed. The universe wanted me to change the message. Uh, uh, to tweak it a little bit. Because like I said, those two cards seem to be repeating. Um, or, or what. But I had this the other day when I uploaded the Gemini full moon reading. First of all, that, room, that reading took me like three days to process and get up. I had done it early. And I needed all the early, all the extra days that I had left myself because I had so many problems. One of the problems was that it had no sound. Um, but I had the original MP4 files, and so I was able to, you know, put them together and, and get it up. The yours, I'm having to, again, no sound. I don't know what's going on, like what YouTube is doing, maybe it's with their policy changes, with the new changes that they've done to their website. Something's happening when I upload the videos, you know, sort of randomly. Something's happening because I, I uploaded Taurus and Virgo too the same exact time as yours, or I published them all the same exact time, and I have no problems with those two. That you know, people are watching them and it's fine. Um, so, like I said, your message is changing. Uh, I apologize. It might be a good thing. Like I said, the universe may have wanted to tweak some of the energy a bit and give you a little bit of a fresh message. It's possible that I'm only going to read for the um, Earth signs this bi-weekly period, this two weeks in terms of the astrological readings. And that is because, um, well, the last time when I did them till two weeks ago, even Capricorn and Virgo, I didn't get, you know, as much response, um, views and stuff that I normally get, but certainly like the most, the majority of the signs in general, I didn't, I you know, Taurus always has my back. So uh, I got tons of Taurus views, but you know, that uh, they were the most. I think I got like 6,000 from them for the um, astrological reading. And there was like 25,000 on the Taurus full moon reading. So the Taurians always have me and um, the other earth signs tend to support me more so than the rest of the Zodiac as well. And for that reason, I don't know. But, but again, with all the changes that are going on with YouTube, we need the views, we need the support in order to even, you know, have an active channel because they, they just don't they just don't put you out there and they're threatening to take channels off completely. You know, they don't have um they don't make them money is what the policies actually say. Um, and then on top of that, I've, you know, I've got tons of readings to do. I am blessed. I'm not, I'm not just like, oh no, my YouTube channel, you know, like I got tons of client readings to do and tons of energy healings to do. People hire me to do not just themselves, like from that they came to know me from watching these videos, but then they'll ask me to help them, to help their parents that are going through suffering with different diseases and things. Um, I, I've helped dogs, uh, a couple dogs with epilepsy, you know, all kinds of stuff. So you know, if, if I'm going to put my energy out there and people are not going to watch the videos, then maybe it's time I stop doing it. <laughs> so I'm very, very strongly considering only posting these three um, Earth element videos and moving on to the rest of what I got to do. But we'll see. This is your reading, however. Again, I'm using three decks um, or four advice decks here, actually. Um, Send a master deck and you again have an overall energy or beginning energy of artistic expression, which I'm pretty sure was the same card that was in your last reading, Paul the Venetian. For me, this is about all the many ways that we can express ourselves. Um, you know, it could definitely be verbal and indicate a need to have a real conversation with somebody, which may be your romantic interest or partner, by the way. Um, I might as well just jump to this and skip to this because you got in the position of love and romance, you have the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant is all about tradition and upright uh, in particular, you know, um, definitely about holding true to tradition. So when we see it, we see, we think of traditional marriage and commitment and all that kind of stuff, um, represents higher institutions, government agencies. So like court and, you know, where you get married, um, in reverse, it, in particular in the space of love and romance, it can mean like we're, we're sort of maybe getting bored with tradition where, 
um, tired of doing the same old things or maybe even having the same old partner or the same old interest and nothing seems to be changing or our lives, you know, just feel like they're falling into a slump. Like, you know, it's just too much tradition, too much of the same old, same old. So it might be time to switch it up. Some of us may be considering even, um, you know, like, do we want to remain in certain relationships um, or should we take the next step? Some people could be thinking about that. Like, okay, this is, I'm tired of where we are. Maybe it's time we got married or moved in together or something like that could also be coming. This, there's keys on this card. So it could be like, you know, each of us has a key, the key to an apartment. We decide to cohabitate or something like that. All of those could be coming in. Um, the Hierophant represents, you know, earth energy, um, most specifically the sign of Taurus, but it could be reflective of your energy as well. Um, as well, in addition to that of Virgo, of course, some of you may be dealing with another earth sign, you know, um, that happens a lot actually. And it's sitting here underneath the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles can mean, um, the end of like worry about money and stuff. You've been really concerned about money maybe, and this is just like the end of that, or maybe, maybe, um, assets in general and stuff like that too, like a new home or moving in together and things like that. Just feeling really happy. Or even for those who decide, you know, they, they're tired of relationships and they want to move on. They want to be single. Even those people being like, all right, it's not, you know, even in the case of being single, it's not like, oh, woe was me. This is, um, you know, like getting your groove back, you know, more so. Which is kind of interesting because it sits here next to the high priestess who's also in reverse. And she can have a bit of like dysmorphia, uh, similar to the empress in reverse for me. She can be like not realizing how very powerful and attractive she is. Um, so it's a very spiritual card also. And has a lot of sexual overtones. Like I said, she's very attractive. She's very sexy, um, very um, tantric. You know, there's a very tantric energy about her. Um, but you, when, when she shows up in reverse, it can be representative of us, like not recognizing ourselves or realizing ourselves, at least in the moment, you know, how very powerful we are, um, how very attractive we are and also not being able to like receive the, we can't hear, we can't see, we're having trouble hearing and seeing like the messages. So and not only not realizing, but we're really feeling, um, but not so powerful, really feeling not so, you know, intuitive, not so psychic because things are not coming through in a clear way. It's sitting here atop your position of work in finance and the six of cups um, in reverse. One of the things it can mean is like, we're not really, we're kind of like not really sure where we stand at work. We're not, um, the honeymoon is over. You know, like they used to be very clear that they loved us, <laughs> you know, they adored us at the job. And now it's sort of like, hey, what happened? Remember me? Um, the fact that the honeymoon is over doesn't have to be a bad thing, though. It just means that you need to look at things more clearly, which you may be having trouble doing because, again, you're having trouble seeing and you're having trouble hearing. But you need to take off any rose colored glasses that are also blocking you from seeing what's truly going on and um, definitely put some consideration, you know, think long and hard on it, as they say, if you need to take some sort of action in connection to your work. Like if you're thinking about quitting or whatever, um, applying for a new position, transferring something. But remember, it's crossing the nine of pentacles, which again can be representative of an end to um, your worries and concerns as it relates to um finances in particular but in, like in general too like life is good when the nine of pentacles upright is showing we 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 have time and the um the temperament and the the money to you know nurture ourselves a bit you know so i like to go get my nails done but you may like to have some other hobby maybe you want to go to like paint and sip and you know that costs a few bucks and might be something you otherwise might not you know invest in but you're just able to do stuff that you enjoy. So you're doing that because you have this nine of pentacles energy. Um, as it relates to love, it's like really a really, really awesome omen. Um, although there's a single woman in the card and it can be, rep be a represent representation for me when I'm doing readings um, on a more intuitive level of 
somebody being single but really as it relates to love it's a really really positive card if you're currently committed um it tends to mean like new heights of 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 uh attraction to one another and to intimacy so like i said hierophant is like i'm tired of the same old same old maybe you want to get into some new kinky stuff um together explore new things sexual maybe you never had sex to get with your partner and this is over this two weeks you're you're thinking about that um with these combinations that that are showing up here the high priest is in reverse the nine of pentacles upright and the hierophant in reverse um again maybe you're thinking of increasing your connection because this is such a wonderful omen in love so i'm tired of where we are i want to not that I want to, not that I want to end it because I'm tired of where we are. I'm tired of where we are. So I want to move forward. You know, I want to take the next step, whatever that means for us. If somebody is single and looking, because again, this can be representative of single and well, they all can. And my readings are for everybody. Um, it can tell us that, you know, we can really meet somebody that, um, you know, like the, the connection is going to be meaningful. Um, when the nine of pentacles shows up, it's going to be, it's going to be meaningful. It's going to be deep and it's probably going to be real soon, you know, that this person is about to come around, um, which was, is another going to be another reason why it's going to be important for us to like, you know, have some confidence in ourselves, like, you know, keep in mind this high priestess in reverse and what it means that, you know, so you might not be finding yourself very attractive right now, but somebody coming along, um, Sometimes when we don't find ourselves attractive and somebody else tells us that, that we are, we, you know, we, we don't believe them. We don't believe them because we believe our thoughts, right? Um, and it's like, yeah, right, this person, um, you know, is full of crap. We want to be careful of that because, again, somebody really, really awesome could be coming your way um, for love. The Six of Cups in reverse, which is in your position of, of work and finance, considering it in terms of love, um, can mean that you've been, you know, ignoring things, sweeping things under the rug. Maybe you've been ignoring that you feel stagnant, that you feel stuck, that you want to move forward or you want to move backward. You know, you want to get out. Whatever it is, um, Six of Cups can be an indication of things being swept under the rug and the need to finally address them. If you're single, looking for love, also can be a time to look at yourself. Maybe spend some time with yourself, enjoying you, getting to know and like and even love you. When the nine of pentacles is showing here and maybe again there is some um need for self-love for self-like even when the high priestess in reverse is showing up we're not very confident we're not very um necessarily fond of ourselves and, and things like that so so that's why i want to emphasize why it's so you know important to keep in mind what the high priestess means and work on that also um going jumping back over here again I have my angel therapy cards here and we have an overall energy or beginning energy, you know, that we're going to focus on, um, of the solar plexus chakra. So the solar plexus chakra is like the abdomen, right down to, um, just under, you know, just under your belly button or about the, about the belly button. That's probably where the, um, sacral chakra begins from there to your genitals. So we're going to focus on like the, the stomach area pretty much. Um, where many believe the soul is located, that that's why we get butterflies in our stomach. That's why we get a sinking feeling in our stomach. We get our intuitive, we get many intuitive messages in the stomach. When the solar plexus chakra is showing up, um, in addition to the high priestess in reverse, it's telling me that maybe this area is blocked, and that may be why you're having a particular, particularly hard time. Um, receiving and and or interpreting intuitive messages and signs and things that are coming to you. But remember, it's safe for you to be powerful and to take charge of your life in positive ways. So it, it, the, you are guided to draw on these um, these gifts, these blessings that we have, you know, of ways of coming into information. And if there is a blockage here to work on that. Also upright behind that is manifestation power. So you need to be able to hear the messages in order to manifest, right? You're focusing on an intention and you can, could be receiving guidance. So it's important that this is not blocked, right? Because you become receiving answers. Use your spiritual gifts and your natural ability to attract the, your desired outcome. Exactly. But if you're having trouble doing that, then how do you, how do you attract the desired outcome? That means you got to work on this first. 
so for many reasons, um, you know, there's a need to pick yourselves up, you know, in terms of energy and confidence and stuff like that. And I didn't talk about your overall energy, which is temperance upright. Oh, look what's behind it. Okay, so temperance upright is a card for me that is, um, I call it my card of healing and holding because like it, you may, it makes you whole again. It's about recovery and restoration where something lacked, where something had been lost, was stolen, was taken from you. Temperance brings it back and heals you and, you know, yeah, puts you back together, makes you whole again. Uh, it can be representative for me of a, the sign of Aquarius, although in the tarot, it is connected to the sign of Sagittarius. It's, it's, for me, Aquarius, because of the very obvious water bearer that's on the front of it, um, but it does represent the sign of Sagittarius in the tarot. So, you know, either of those could be particularly significant to you, an Aquarian or a Sag. Um perhaps. <laughs> um, but, you know, I was talking about maybe going ahead and getting married or stepping up your commitments or, you know, leaving a relationship if that's what you want to do. Whatever it is that's going to make you happy and bring you joy. Um, I was talking about recovering your finances, right? Those financial worries dissipating, disappearing. That's what the Four of Wands also represents. All of those wonderful things that I had mentioned. Um so, you know, here that comes. I called your last reading the one that was mute for whatever reason. Um, I said, this is a game changer. And it's kind of like what's happening here. Like something, you're making steps that's that's going to, um, whatever you do, whether it's love, relationship, like every area of your life could probably use some nurturing. But um, what, on whatever your focus is and wherever you put that attention, Wonderful things are coming for Capricorn. Look what's also up right behind the Four of Wands. It's the Six of Pentacles. This is like one of my most favorite cards in the entire deck. Because this too is about um, being made whole. It's about justice. You see he has the scales of, of balance and justice. It's about things evening out, evening out. The scales being evened and being made fair. Um, so you recovering things that you had lost or that have been taken from you, that have been stolen. It is about love being able to pass both ways in a really, really healthy way um, and unconditional love and um, the ability to both give and receive, you know, whether it is something tangible and like finances or the material or love, right? Being able to balance in a healthy, balanced way to um, both give love and to accept love from other people without being worried about the strings and things like that. So like I was saying, this is a very, very powerful card um, and, and strong, you know, omen as it relates to love. And if you're single, somebody coming your way, that could be a genuine, genuine love. It's like a genuinely healthy and balanced relationship. And that may be non-traditional for you too. That may not be what you're used to because a lot of us are used to, you know, just uh, when we, in, in retrospect, in hindsight, something that we settled for that um, later we realized we, we were worth much more. We were more valuable, more powerful than what we accepted. Your other card um, is the Prince of Summer. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, and enchanting, a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Maybe like getting engaged suddenly or, you know, again, being asked to move in suddenly or meeting somebody new with the, the love just feels really different. It just feels really, really good. Um, you know, all of that can be happening. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. The Prince of Summer or Knight of Cups for me can also be about somebody from your past returning to your love life with, um, or returning to your life in general, which is a nice segue for me uh, to the Romance Angel cards. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Maybe that's why the love just feels so familiar and good and comforting, like, and like home, right? Um, also behind this is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. We're the only red flags potentially on this table is the Hierophant, right? And with this big red robe that he's wearing in your position of love and relationship. So it could be like, pay attention to that. Pay attention to the changes that are coming or to what you've been feeling and the fact that you want something different. Again, whether it's to let go of something or to grab something and change something and switch it up and get involved in more interesting things for you. 
sirens during my readings always for me indication of Archangel Raphael's presence and again healing so with this overall energy for, uh, that you have of temperance perfect for you uh, there may be children involved in the situation the six of cups can often be about children too your love life is being affected by children I don't necessarily see pregnancy, but the high priestess is here and she's super sexual so that maybe that's something that comes or maybe you have children or you're the partner that you're interested in has children. So you'd be, you know, that's going to come into a play and to um, affect you in some way it can also be like feeling like a kid again, feeling youthful. Um, you know, with, with, when in terms of, again, this love that just feels different, feels exciting, it's young, it's innocent, it's fun, right? It's lively, it's vibrant, it's what we've been missing in life. Maybe you'll need to uh, meet this person through some other people. Maybe that's why the Six of Cups is showing up in this position here next to the Hierophant. I mean, the, technically in my little spread, it's in your position of work and finance, but looking at it, you know, from another way, what the Six of Cups in Reverse can mean, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Because, again, this love... You see, there's an angel here. This is, like, very... I think this card showed up in your other reading, too. He's an angel. So, to me, this is very demonstrative of, like, sacred union, um, divine union, twin flame union, right? Soulmate relationships, which, are, like I said, again, the, uh, super, super love... Um, very possible for you guys, Capricorn. And passion is connected to fire signs, like the, right, the red flags, the red signs, Mars, planet of action and aggression, um, the red planet, Jupiter, ruler of the sign of Sagittarius, which we just talked about a second ago. Um, those are, those could be the red flags as far as I'm concerned, but they, they are what represents passion, right? The wands, the fire. And so this card is very two of wands to me with these two people. And again, one is um, very clearly an angel. The female might be two. And um, the passion that they share between them is very, you know, so it just comes across very two of wands, very um, divine union or sacred union card related. And your next upright card is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So <laughs> we have a literal holiday, a stream of holidays coming up, whether it's Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, um, you know, many, many other things probably celebrated around the world. Something we could be coming up. The new year we could be looking forward to um, in the near future. We just had a full moon in December. The Gemini full moon. So something could, could have been stirred up. We have two people again. Well, these are two people um, that are riding in the boat together. And there's, a, um, there's an angel who's sort of driving, guy directing the, this gondola here. Behind that is separation. Again, the Knight of Cups for me um, is often about somebody that's returning to your life in some sort of way. So maybe there had been some separation or there had been, like even people that were together, again, just felt very stagnant, probably felt like we're together, but we're alone. You know, it's just, it's just, there was separation, there was distance, even though we're physically there together. And so that's one of the things we're going to be changing. But again, that change is coming and should turn out to be worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So those who are actually um, in separation, having somebody return, those who are single, um, definitely potential to meet somebody really, really wonderful. And those who are already in committed relationships, an opportunity for you to uh, seriously step those up or to step on out if you've been wanting to leave. And further advice to you guys, this actually reminds me, I think, I, I don't think I did any advice for Virgo. St. Germain says, work your magic. This is very um, magician. This means like you can manifest any and everything you want in your life. And this um, Merkaba here, which is a star also, is sort of very, I just noticed that it's kind of similar, or at least out of my, the side of my eye, very similar to the star here on this wand in the Knight of um, Cups card. So maybe what you're manifesting again is, you know, the return of somebody to your life and a better relationship with them when they get there. I think I'm going to call your reading. This is a game changer again. 
it's still a game changer. So further advice to masculine archetype, Major Arcana card 10, the wheel, which also represents the planet Jupiter and the sign of Sagittarius, which it rules. In addition to the fixed signs, which is also connected to Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. Wow, for <laughs> the feminine, the nine of summer. Now's the time when your dreams come true. Don't worry about how this will happen. Just give gratitude to God for all that you have and all that's still to come. From the angel therapy cards to the masculine. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as what your physical sight with your physical sight rather for your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching and guidance. So especially um, you masculine, if you feel like you're having trouble, you know, doing that, um, you know, I do something that that helps to support intuition, the third eye, maybe I like I like binaural tones, binaural tones personally. Um, I'm not saying that anybody else has to use those. But there are some specifically for things like that, you know, for intuition, for third eye chakra, uh, for solar plexus chakra. And, you know, you can work on healing those and clearing that up. Feminine base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career and finances as your words determine your outcome. Yeah, this too is about um what St. Germain was just here to talk to us about manifestation, right? We manifest through words, focused intentions, and our thoughts, first and foremost. When they send a master deck, health and healing, says Hilarion. So he agrees with me with all that's going on. And this is a very, it's, look, it's a green card and he's wearing green. This is totally your energy and your element um, here to support you. It may be. Uh, helpful for you to spend time in nature or if you're able to do that you live in an area that's conducive to doing that I know for a lot of us it's getting cold um, sometimes we can bring nature inside to us by way of you know pets and plants and things like that too and what we eat also like organic foods may be helpful to you that may also help you with your clarity in addition you know to that but the feminine see the other person's point of view so this is about being open to conversation, expression, and getting to the heart of the matter. Maybe those things that we had been sweeping under the rug, perhaps particularly at work, something you know that needs addressing at work. We're finally going to um, to get to doing that, and it's important to be open to you know hearing what everybody has to say. And from the romance angels to the masculine trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Well, faith is actually the next step in manifestation after the thoughts. Like once, that's why like when we see 11-11, we're supposed to like stop and make sure that what we're focused on, what we're thinking about is positive. Right? It's going to bring something positive to our life. Twos are about faith. So with the one, you had the thought. With the two, now you believe that it's going to come true. So that's what this is about here. And lastly, feminine for you, your romance card, engagement. What did I say? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Told ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I will be back for you, God willing, in two weeks. That would be December 30th. Namaste.